Hello and welcome back to our Red Run Challenge in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, where we only have one key quest left to go before Dalmater, so I'm going to go do it before I finish this sentence, except actually after I finish this sentence. But before I take a breath, I'm going to go ahead and grab the quest. Need to keep going. Okay. Got it. Okay. There we are. Breathing is a thing that humans should do. And I, being human, definitely and for reals, definitely not a non-human thing. I am 100% human. And you can take that to the bank. Uh, being a human, I do need to breathe. Alright, is there anything we should bring on this quest? I don't think there really is. Might as well bring the honey and combo books just as a failsafe, but I do not expect to need them. I'll get rid of these drinks. Actually, those pickaxes. I'll keep. Because there's mining to do on this guy. I don't need these antidotes. Alright, this... don't need mulberries. This ought to be good. Did I eat? I did eat. Okay, good. Let us go play with a Daran Morin. And thereby unlock a Dalamader. We've seen this already. And it wasn't even that long ago. Mm -hmm. First aid meds. I'm gonna go ahead and use those first aid meds as they are, rather than dipping into our own supplies so early on. Because I don't expect to be hit enough to use a full nine first aid med pluses against this guy. Could be wrong, but I don't expect to. So, first and foremost, we are breaking this arm. There will be plenty of chances to actually get up onto his back in phase two, so... We're not going to go mining just yet. We will try and break the rock thrower, though. Fine, I can charge again. Your ears are too sensitive for cannons, why are you using it? I do so enjoy how I can just charge for days on this guy. And there's that. So let us get back to the boat and continue with the shooting of his arm. That's unkind. Why would you do that to my poor boat? We've got a chance to put our sword directly on his arm, which does a bit more damage than the ballista, or at least it should. This is where the binder comes into play. Okay, I think it might be a bit too far here, but we'll see. Yep. Had to move away from my slash, didn't you? Amazing that even a Daren can dodge my strikes. Oh, this is the thing I wanted you to not do until I broke your arm. Now, if you could put your arm right back where it just was, that would be amazing and I would love it. Thank you, sir. slapped instead of doing the round slash. Round slash is more damage as far as I'm aware. And 
he has gone ahead and spiked part of the boat. We'll find out what part later. But for now, we've got a blowhole to kill. Since we can actually just keep rolling up against him, I think this might actually be the optimal DPS rotation for us right now. Come on, I want that break before it's too late. I can't see nothing. There's the break. That round slash hit a bit higher so it would hit the frill instead of the body. Let's let that go before it's too late. <laughs> and over he goes. Which means those parts that we've broken are coming right back. But that's okay. That's just how this fight goes. Go ahead and grab some more ballista ammo from in here. And I'll sharpen while I'm at it. Now, to fire on his other arm. Hit him right in the toes. Go ahead, splash down. All right, big fella. Let's get your parts where I can hit him. Okay, it's totally fine. He went under to do literally nothing. Just groan a little bit. Which I guess isn't literally nothing. It's just pretty much nothing. Wow. Boom. Blort. Pew. Zap. Fine, you can do this again. I don't mind. Yeah, we'll get all our mining done in phase two. Oh, I just got cheated out of that charge. And he's gone and gotten himself a spike which we will not allow him to use. Well, actually, we won't really have much choice in the matter. He'll probably end up using it. Oops. That really shouldn't have damaged me from where I was, but... Oh, really? You're doing the arm thing now? How unkind. Let's see if I can get a break. No. There it is. Bit too late though. I just rolled the wrong way, but thankfully he was there to keep me from rolling off. Yeah, oh, I got spiked. Might as well give this a few whacks. Okay. 
Okay, I got just a little bit too close there. But that's okay. Darren isn't exactly known for his comboing abilities. He gives plenty of time for healing. So yeah, just gathering ammo. Truly an exciting fight in this phase. I mean, gathering ammo is quite possibly the highlight of my day. Uh-oh. I wish I was over there, but I'm not, so I can't really stop this. Though I can proceed to not care about sliding here. Oh, apparently holding L also causes you to hold on. Good to know. Well, let's go ahead and use our ballista shots on his horn. But actually, hit. I do my aiming much better in the first person. Mode. Let's not get rocked. Trying to hide in the sand there, buddy. That's cute. And you're going under, I'm gathering ammo. That's the way it's gonna be. You're going up there, aren't you? Yep, you sure are. So I've got a little while before he starts coming at the boat. Which means I can gather the same one. And here come some rocks. Well, almost managed to avoid them. Well, let's go ahead and man the Dragonator. face the button, because I'm a little bit paranoid about it, for no real reason, but hey. Stab. Well, let's get us some more ammo. Hopefully he lets us up on his back again soon. Because it's always more exciting to fight him when you don't have to rely on your various types of ammo. Just felt like using a cannon. He's gonna roar. I can't aim properly when he's doing that, so I just don't even bother. That Delix did an amazing job of missing us. I will not... Okay. Now I'll complain. And I accidentally fired without moving the camera. And he's going under. So I'll just grab another one of these. Why not? You can't stop me. No one can stop me. I'll grab this too. Is gonna be. Oh, grabbing this was a bad idea. Gone, 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 gone. Okay. That almost worked. Well, kinda kinda hard to miss the horn now. Really? You're gonna do this? Okay, it's not like Jen, we can't just crouch there. Good to know. You know what? Let's just keep you from attacking for a bit. Ooh! This is amazing! <laughs> this is better than expected! <laughs> Whoop! Well, 
still got to put those on his horn. Oh, really? I just saw an arrow, like saying, please get on me. I would love to. Let me over there, please. Yes. I don't think I've ever seen him do this. Now we can focus on this without needing to worry about hitting the blowhole accidentally. So let's make sure that we're actually hitting the right spot. Not that we can see. He's kind of got a big honking horn in the way. He just tried to rock me when I'm on his own head. Darren, it's not smart to throw rocks at people who are on your own head. I mean, no one's ever accused you of being a genius, but that pretty much takes you out of the running. So there's a flinch. Will the break come soon? We can only hope, because we kind of need it to happen if we want to have a better angle on the action here. I mean, hey, this is a lot of free hits. I'll take that. I, I don't mind getting a little bit shaky in exchange for this. I really, I would love to break this at some point. Oh, me, the gong? Because I care about that so much. Well, I guess he didn't want us on him anymore. Where were we? How's the boat doing? Oh, it's doing normal. That's good. What do you want to bet? It's going to be like two hits away from breaking that frill. Just taking a nap here so we don't have to use any healing items. Plus, we're here. Entering the final showdown. Excellent. I chose the right time to nap. Because now it is impossible to nap. Go ahead and use this whetstone. Let's see if we can't bust his horn while he's way out there. After all, we don't really have anything else to shoot at. Let's go down a little bit. That was not his horn. That, however, was. Go ahead, do your roar. I don't mind. It's very nice that despite having played this game for hundreds of hours, thousands if you count my time in Monster Hunter 4 and 4G, uh, the monsters still pull out new behaviors that I've never managed to see. Goes to show just how deep their move pools can be. Time to take this ballista ammo and put it on him. Or wait for him to finish sweeping. And yeah, so quest is his horn. That's pretty standard. It's usually either the horn or the blowhole. And the fact that they call it the blowhole in the subquests is the exact reason that I know it is a blowhole and not, say, a spike cannon like I used to call it. Though usually 
blowholes are not used for launching giant rock spikes, but I guess when you live in sand, you might get some rocks and junk trapped in there that you need to sneeze out onto unsuspecting ballista operators. Wow, this horn is taking a beating. Ten ballista shots, two anti-dragon bombs. More than ten ballista shots, just ten right there. Now, if I timed it right, I could get the horn with the Dragonator, but that's risky. I'd rather just get him in the throat. Also, the Dragonator's still down. I need to remember that it keeps its cooldown between phases in this game. Possibly in every game. What are you doing? Oh. I'll take it. Okay, more than two hits. Really? He hit me with a head swipe while I was on the head he was swiping with. As opposed to all those other heads he has, of course. There it is. Might as well just fire the rest of these into him. Gong. Let's go carve his mouth. Which really I feel should cause him more pain than anything else we can possibly do to him. I mean, there's a reason they're calling that a blood scale. still want to break that frill just because we can. So I'm actually going to drop these here. Oh. Okay, that still did hit his paw. That's good. But it's not really a paw. Not as such. Excellent. Managed to flinch him out of doing his wind tunnel, which honestly is the most dangerous attack he has. It may one-shot us. And also, since he pulls his head back a little bit as he does it, it can sometimes hit you if you're as far back as his arms. Which means that we were just in a very dangerous position, and I was kind of relying on that flinch to happen. And finally, we break the frill. So let's do our mining now. So, we've broken pretty much everything that matters to break. What is your... What was that doing so high up? So yeah, once we're done mining. Are you sucking in sand again? I think he is. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna get really far back, just in case. I don't want to risk anything bad happening. Yeah, that would probably kill us. Okay, let us back up. I know you've got another... or maybe got another mining spot hiding up there. What are you doing? Let us up. Do you have another mining spot up here? Yes, you do. And now it is... well, it, it's gonna be mine. Stop swishing your tail. Am I gonna need to take away your rock thrower? Honestly, I could Dragonate him right now. Well, no, I can't. He's pretty far back. And now he can never throw rocks again. So 
So let's get back onto the boat. We might kill his blowhole at some point, just so that we can say everything is dead, but I think we'll Dragonate him first. Because it is up and it does a lot of damage. So we'll just kind of hang out here and wait for him to get close enough. Nothing wrong with a little prance party. But it's not much of a party when it's only me. Now I'm sad. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can make it. I believe in you. Yeah, that's right. Just one foot in front of the other. Oh, hi. You sure are a big boy. A big boy who's about to have a skewer in his neck. I did not like that. So this is the foot that I did not flinch. trying to flinch that foot so that we can get up to deal with his blowhole. Yeah, that's good. We keep going back towards the boat. Not charging up too much because I know that he's going to move his foot before too long. I could have charged up more, but... I want to be sure I can get my hits in. Really? You're taking steps back? You jerk. What, do you want to ride my boat? Is that what you're trying to do? Alright, let's go kill that blowhole. Actually get every single break that's available. Plus, it's probably the softest part of him that's still available to hit. Oh, he's dead. I'll take that. So let's head on in to the back of his throat and crouch down and get carving. Hello, Earth Dragon Gem. How are you today? Of course, you can get those from low rank Darren's. But still, feels nice to get a gem. Oops, I missed the spot by a very small amount. Hello, Earth Dragon Gem number two. All right. And that, my friends, is a Darren Morin. Another one. A high rank one this time. But he's dead. And also, this arm is inside his body. ending screenshot if ever I saw one. I really wish I could clear away all this menu stuff to get a better look at it. Nope. And nope. Actually, I should have kept that constitution one, because I think I'm only like four points away from having constitution plus one. Oh well. So, now he's going to tell us that we've got an urgent to do. Okay. Sure. Mm-hmm. 
Oh. Alrighty. Oh, a giant snake. I wonder what that could be. Le Gasp. What is the truth? Oh, no! Alright. Mm -mm. I want to fight it. at it. And you're going to tell me that, hey, it's there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, it sure is. Sure does. Will do. Oh, you don't want to not see me get hurt? So, that's actually going to be it for this episode, since I don't really have any low rank stuff that I feel that I need to do at this moment. Sure, I could go fight another Rathalos, but that Daren was a meaty quest. So, we'll go ahead and call it an ending point here. Words? And next time, we'll go fight that Dolomiter. It's going to be fun. See you then, friends.